name is Declan Dowling. I'm the Sales Commercial and Operations Manager here at the Kingdom Greyhound Stadium. And my role is basically the day-to-day -day running of the stadium. Plus, the main part of my job would be to bring commercial activity into the stadium on the nights of racing. People may not be aware of the fact that it's not just the Greyhound owners and the people working here in the stadium that benefit from the stadium. It's people that hold fundraisers here that obviously as well benefit from the stadium. On any given year we would have between 25 and 30 fundraisers and they would range from small groups that want to raise two to three thousand euros to large groups who want to raise anything between 30 and 40 thousand. Between those categories you're looking at 300 to 350 thousand euros raised in this stadium for that particular year for, for all the various entities. The General Hospital have been here, they're looking forward to year 30 when we have a chance to get back. Kerry GA for the last seven or eight years and then you have a local school out the road here which has had two fundraisers. So they're just three examples of the huge amount of money that has been raised through having fundraisers here at the Kingdom Greyhound Stadium and by enjoying a great night's racing at the same time. I'm a surgeon in University Hospital Kerry and I am also secretary of the Friends of the Hospital. Friends of Hospital is a, a voluntary organisation and they help to organise the fundraising and our main fundraising is an annual Greyhound meeting. That is sponsored by various businesses and organisations around the town and how that works is they place ads in the uh, racing programme and that's how the money comes in. The Greyhound industry has been very important to this hospital and almost €3 million Euro has been raised and all spent on equipment in the hospital. For instance, say a DEXA scanner for checking bone health and equipment really for every single department in the hospital. The meeting itself is a huge uh, social event. It is the biggest night of the year in the Kerry Greyhound um, Stadium and the vast majority of people who attend really have nothing to do with greyhounds or racing and they attend it as a social event and it is very important for the community. My name is Peter Twist, I'm Secretary of the Kerry County Board. Well we have a great relationship with greyhound racing in regard to fundraising. So every year we have a tremendous function where we raise funds for the Kerry team. Over those 10 years we would have raised €600,000 approximately. As well as that and maybe as a bonus it was always a tremendous occasion. That money is used for the preparation of our Kerry team, so it's our job as a Kerry County Board to make sure that they are resourced absolutely as much as possible and that's why fundraising is a critical part of any county board and this time of year we're planning for next year and that would be uh, obviously a key factor in the fundraising side of things. What was special about the Greyhound Night in Tree was the family occasion. We'd always have our Kerry players there and they were fantastic. They'd meet the youngsters and they'd sign jerseys and they'd... So it, it became a brilliant occasion as well as a fundraiser, which is the perfect way to fundraise, I suppose. I was always into the Greyhound, so I said I'd take a chance taking out my Greyhound trainer licence because it's what I always wanted to do was going up and I have 19 dogs here at the moment, so it's going well, so hopefully it keeps on building. They're great members of the track because when I was a young fellow I was going in and you meet all the senior players and it was a great night to go to get people out and fundraise a lot of money for it as well so it was brilliant. So I met Jack there when we were involved with the Kerry Miners together. Jack has been training dogs for a few years now. From that I've kind of learned a bit from Jack and I'm very keen. I'm involved in one myself so the syndicates are very good I feel for people to get involved in the dogs. Four or five fellas can come together there and it won't cost as much as buying one just by yourself and you'll get great entertainment out of it and a, a few nights out as well. Winning the All Ireland would be one aim, but if we could get a Derby winner with uh, Jack training it, that'd be another one that'd be very good and very um, exciting. My name is Betty Stack and I'm principal of our first Central National School. We have 196 pupils on roll and we have a catchment area of about five miles in every direction. Our fundraising really is very important in our first school, as it is in every school nowadays. The first year, 2014, we joined up with our GA clubs here in the village and we set out that we would aim to make 25,000 and we actually made 30,000 and that was divided pro rata then between us. But we got um, more ambitious then in 2019 and we decided to go our own way and we decided we'd build a hall for the children and we again set out our marker 25,000 and we actually made 28,000 and we've sent our hall out for tender and our builder now has been appointed and we hope to start building our hall in the spring. There's about 12 weeks of work where we organise our teams, they go out selling tickets at night and we have to organise our sponsors and then on the night there are loads of add-on events. So our novelty race would be the big thing in a primary school, you can imagine how they'd all like to be on the team in a relay race around the track. 
where they'll actually be racing themselves. And you can imagine, we'll be practicing that for weeks and you'll be building momentum. And you see they're taking the message home and the whole thing, it becomes a community event. And that's what it's all about. Everybody being aware of what we're trying to achieve. So it's always been a tremendous night. There's been a glow of happiness in the village long after the event is over, because it's a sense of ownership and pride in our school and in our parish as a whole. people that are aware of it, the people that have actually had fundraisers here. But I suppose there are more clubs out there that aren't aware of it and those are the people that we're looking forward to doing business with in the near future. Because with a night here, the whole family can enjoy the fundraiser for whatever particular cause they're trying to raise the money for.